All right, guys. Um, today I'm going to talk about the site reputation abuse penalty that's coming in a couple of days. I think in May 5th. Um, just to give my thoughts on it, what I'm seeing, what I'm expecting. It's all speculation because uh, we won't know until it happens, but it's just a fun little exercise, you know? But first, let's get on the creatine. <clears throat> Yesterday's video got a lot of hate, huh? Um, I mean, I'm simply showing you what I've done. Uh, I didn't know it would be so polarizing. But um, to give you a sense, most of my videos have like 100% like rate. Yesterday's had 90%. Kind of crazy, but here we go. All right, let's go. All righty, so yesterday we did 3.8K in total revenue. That's up $300 from the day before. Amazon went up yesterday at 18.52. Um, Mediavine at 10.72 and OnlyFans at 9.83. Uh, decent day, but let's take a look at the granular numbers plus Levanta. All righty, so yesterday 34.3K in ordered revenue. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, also, can you guys comment site reputation abuse for the YouTube algorithm? I know it's a lot, but just take the title of this video, copy it down into the comment section, please. All right, I'm trying to rank for site reputation abuse and uh, it won't be easy, it won't be easy. Anyways, Levanta, yesterday, da, 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 $64. Ain't great, month to date, roughly 29K. Mm, we take those, right? I think we take those. Anyways, let's get on to today's episode. Cool. So, um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, today's episode, site reputation abuse update. It's uh, coming on May 1st, which I, AKA I call Judgment Day. Um, I added the link to the source in the show notes. And you can sign up for the first link in the description and I'll send you this sheet, which gets gives you all the show notes. Honestly, a fuck ton of value. Just sign up for my newsletter, all right? Um, yeah, let's talk about it. So uh, when they clapped me in March, they came up with, they also gave uh, large publishers notice. So obviously scaled content abuse, I got my cheeks clapped there. They finally finished rolling out the March update. And lastly, right after they finished rolling it out, the site reputation abuse is coming out. This has large publishers in shambles. Even brands like Forbes are fucking scared they started de-indexing their coupons uh but one thing they haven't de-indexed is the advisor so if you note the exact wording of how they uh wrote this out i wanted to highlight low quality content provided by third parties all right so that pretty much means like guest posts um what immediately comes to mind is sites like Outlook India, when they have a sponsored content subdirectory. And I read on Twitter that they're going to be handing out both alg these penalties algorithmically and manually. So um, I'm sure they already have a huge list of sites that they're about to fucking clap. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Um, but here's my guesses, all right? Articles published with clear disclosure of guest posts will get clapped. So... This article was written as a sponsored post. Da, 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 da. Um, very easy to detect, detect that. I think partnerships will be very hard to detect um, and will be A-OK. -okay. And I think sites like Forbes Advisor will stay very strong. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think Forbes has a chance of getting clapped mostly because people are up in arms on Twitter about this pretty cringe but i think they will be made an example of um which might be sad because they do like 100 mil a year in revenue so that's very scary as a company that might actually ruin them so in that case if you think about it like that if they get financially ruined then they're like back against the wall they're gonna go for a lawsuit so will google risk that i don't know um but yeah here those are my cliff notes 
Let me know what you guys think. Am I missing the mark? Do you think partnerships will be A-OK because there's no disclosures? It's simply just the editorial team that's on it, like members of the editorial team. Um, do you think Forbes Advisor will get clapped? I don't know. I know for a fact these sites will, though. Let me show you. So I think any of these articles, you know, that rank for, I don't know, XYZ Review, Titan Flow Review, Anything that falls is like labeled sponsored content. Somehow, some way will be fucking clapped. Um, so Santa Cruz Sentinel is doing very well right now. Despite, look at the URL structure. It's not even under a sponsored content subdirectory. So I think the only way they can do this is probably clapping the whole domain, which is very fucked if they do that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very interesting to follow along. Uh, maybe this is the nail in the coffin for me, but we'll see. Fucking exciting, though. I will definitely keep you guys posted. Let's answer some YouTube questions, though. Zishan says, calm before the storm. Google pe manual penalty resolved, but now got to deal with May 5th update. Praying for the homies. That's what I'm saying. How do you get reviews for a rank and rent station across the country? Friends and family are no-go considering it would look weird since they don't live anywhere near there. Um, got to call in some favors, man. Got to call in some favors. Google manual penalty for the algo unclapping of the cheeks. Thank you. Google manual Do you recommend adding near me in keywords when doing citations for a local business or just add the town or city? I think town or city is just more natural. Natural. Don't want to don't get too aggressive, you know? You publish it all, says Niraf. Dude, this guy does not have my best interest in heart. He just wants to see what happens. Um, I'm going to get clapped for sure if I do that. Then ma Google manual penalty. That's what I'm saying. Keep your foot on Google's neck and these haters, Jackie. Let's go. Thank you. Nice Google penalty, manual penalty video. Thank you. Thank you very much for the comments, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if I rank for that, huh? Let me check, actually. Um, I'll check after this. Phineas, thank you very much for the comment. If you build in public, you will show the site. That's true. But hear me out. What if I only build it in the advice community? If I Even if I do get clapped, Google has to pay me that those sweet, sweet dollars to join. Isn't that crazy? I like it. Uh, Google Mail Penalty, thank you very much. And that's it today, guys. Um, pretty short episode. I guess I can just, what else should I answer? Did I answer all the questions here? I think I did. Yeah, dude. What, what am I missing? Let's just go back and do videos. Guys, if you have any questions at all, comment some questions. All right. I think I answered all of them. Yeah. Thank you very much. Short episode today. Maybe the course launch one. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Um, that's all for today. If there's any other episodes you want me to do, um, let me know. I will cover it in the upcoming episodes and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.